Riding our bikes during sundown, that's a memory I'm very fond of. The warmth from the sun against the cool breeze, the red glow in the sky beginning to fade. It was a simpler time. We could be ourselves. Hopefully you'll get to experience that too. Attention, attention. Curfew is now in place. Return to your homes immediately. Your safety is guaranteed if you stay indoors. You are not an exception to the rule. You have to be home when I tell you. Sorry. But you can't keep saying that, especially when you've been caught out beyond curfew, how many, three times this month? It's not a life worth living otherwise. You are so like your mother. Things really haven't been the same since you left us. Treading on thin ice, Mr. Anderson. Um, Your Excellency, there must be some misunderstanding. We... As my head of security, you are to enforce my curfew. No exceptions. Do you understand? Um, yes, 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 Your Excellency. Uh, it will be done. The next time I find your offspring wandering my streets past curfew will be the last time you see her. And don't think your position in the regime will last either. We all know what must be done to those who stand in the way of paradise. Uh, yes, Your Excellency, and I... Leave me alone. We'll be taking this. Probably worth a hundred tickets to confiscate illegal possessions like that. Give it back. No, not gonna happen, love. Oh. When my father finds out... Be glad you ain't dead. <laughs> they stole it. Just left me there. You've got to be more discreet, Sadie. Discreet? Do you have any idea how important that was to me? They took the closest thing I had to home. This is your home, Sadie. What we've created here. I mean, isn't that enough? What? You sound just like them. You're not even on my side. Sooner or later, you'll understand exactly how good we've got it here. And if you listen to me, you'll understand how good. This dumpster diving. I'd raised you better than that. Get it back for me. You're important to them. They'll listen to you. Please. Do it for me. I don't know where it is. And maybe that's just for the best. No. You do. Once in your life, can you at least pretend to care about me? Like how you pretended to care about Mum.
Before the time I brought you into the world, the night sky was so clear you could count the stars and fall asleep in the fields. No mounds of garbage, just greenery. No fences to keep us out, and nothing else to hold you back. Sadie, I figured you'd be here. Your mother loved that place too, before the fences went up. I know this probably isn't the message you want to hear right now, but sometimes doing the right thing is, well, saying what needs to be said. I haven't been completely honest, and, well, you probably hate me for not being there for you right now. I tried raising you to be someone you're not, I mean, forcing you to fit into a world you didn't believe in. I can't really forgive myself for that. Sadie, you deserve to live the life you want and not just simply exist. I spent so long just accepting the world for what it is and not thinking about well, what it could be. Your mother. I'm sorry I hid her from you. For all these years. I just didn't want to lose you too. I just want you to be safe. Your mother is out there somewhere and as long as you stay in this city you'll never be safe and I would have failed you again find her I'm buying you some time so I guess this is goodbye in case we see each other again I I don't expect you to forgive me I just want you to understand